What's up guys, this is Denadon here, and today I'm trying to build a pod racer. Pod racers come from Star Wars The Phantom Menace, which is the worst of the Star Wars films, and yet the pod racer itself is an interesting concept. They're fast, supposedly deadly, and yet they look cool. So let's see how we can go with one in Kerbal Space Program. Now as you can see here, this is a very simple pod racer. We've got jet engines with some fuel, we've got some undercarriage gear, some control surfaces, and then that's pretty much it. Now we have Kerry Kerman here, to, or Kenny Kerman, to be our test subject for this. And as you can see, I'm flying here without turning on the SAS, and it's a bit of a handful. Now, it rolls around a lot, and it's prone to doing that. It lost the engines there, somehow. And I don't think this is going to end well. Yeah, nah, that's about as good as I expected that would end. So, let's try again. So, start off, accelerate, get some speed, and then we'll see how we go. And there we go, picking up speed, taking off, still no SAS, and no, this isn't any better than previous one. And there we go. That, that engine somehow survived. Now, trying again. Here we go. Accelerating, lifting off gently. This time we've got SAS on. And we can see straight away we're flying a lot better than we were before. Now, turning this is a bit issue because it is very sensitive to the controls, as you can kind of see here. Also, look at that wobble. I didn't put any struts on this at all, mostly because, well, I'm lazy and couldn't be bothered to do it. And it seemed to be flying well enough on its own. Well, I guess as well as you can think the pod racer would fly anyway. So, here we go. Low pass, trying to see how fast we can go. 220 meters a second. And then I decided, how does it look in the interior view? And then this gave me an idea of seeing well, maybe if I can do the interior view here, perhaps I should try the interior view later on. But, so here we go, coming around, back to the space center, aiming towards it, and aiming to do a low fly pass here. And realize I thought I got a bit close to the building, so I turn away, come around, and, yep, you can see it came very close to the ground there, but still somehow staying in control. And as I come around again, I'm like, alright, maybe I'll try landing this, but too low, and somehow the cockpit is the only part that survives, and so like, maybe I can land this, and no. Maybe I should have EVA'd out, but no matter. So here we are, now we're trying out with the scary view. I think this view is kind of the most terrifying view you can think of, and it looks very much like a pod racer from this viewpoint. And just look at as we go, look at how much those engines wobble with each turn. It's kind of freaky if you think about it. So here we go, coming around, and spin out, and I don't think I can recover this. No. There we go. So let's try that again. So starting off, zoomed out a little bit so I could see my airspeed. And here we go, accelerating, we're picking up speed, yawing a bit on takeoff. Save it, save it. I realized I forgot to turn on the SAS here, so... It ends up in this bit of a flip, engines go again, and I can't do anything here. None of my inputs are working, and as you can see, this is not recoverable. And yet it somehow survives, upside down, of course, and he can't get out, so he's stuck in there. As you see, hatch is obstructed. So we're going to try that again. So here we go, accelerating for takeoff. And this time I'm going to try and fly a bit better than I did before. There you go, picking up. And I said I'll do a flyby of the tower here, but I got a bit too close and yeah, not a good idea. But the engine survived. Well, not the engine, but the intake and the fuel tank survived, but not for long. And so now we go, trying again. SAS on this time, I remembered. Let's see if we can get any kind of speed records here. Accelerating as we go, a bit too much on the pitch up, but managed to save it. You can see this thing accelerates very quickly because it has basically no mass behind it for its size. So we're picking up, heading out to sea, because I wanted to try and be at a bit more speed. Coming around here, and I wanted to try doing another fly pass, because I still haven't done a successful one here. 
So turning back slowly towards the space center, look at that wobble on those engines, heading back towards it. And then at this point I started to think maybe I'm coming in a bit too steeply, so try to level out and pull up, but stall and straight into the astronaut complex. Oh well, hopefully nobody needed that. So this time I was trying to get some more speed again. You can see how sensitive this thing is in the pitch. Note the lack of SAS again. And yet, yeah, in a bit of a tumble, engines go. That seems to be a bit of a problem with this design that even struts could not fix. So flipping around like mad, I thought maybe I can save him this time. Poor Kenny. So EVA him, flying rat, and no. But look, the struts, not the struts, the girders somehow survive. I think we should make the ship out of whatever those are, because look at how good they are bouncing in the water like that. Like, if the rest of the ship had been like that, Kenny would have been fine. So finally here, just after takeoff, I decided to do enough, enough messing around, let's try an actual flight. So getting as fast as I can, can to get some distance, and then I'll turn around and try to land this thing because not yet have I ever had a chance to actually try and land it. So we're going out, out to sea, get some good distance, got to give myself some leeway because of the very slow turns. Coming around here, pitching up slowly, trying to drop the speed, slow down. It's not very helpful because this thing doesn't slow down very quickly. This is where the air brakes from B9 would be quite helpful to have on this. But as we come around here, ever so slowly, you can see I've managed to keep it somewhat stable. Put the gear down, aiming back towards the runway now. And then as we come in, we're just aiming towards the runway. And then aiming a little more, just a bit more to the left, as you can see, trying to get there. We we'll also note the glider rover that's been in the last couple of shots from the previous video that for some reason I left in my actual game. But lining up now. Then at this point I realise I'm coming in a bit too low for the runway. You're coming in slow enough now, but look at that pitch up. You, like, you can't really see much at all there. So coming towards the runway, aiming up, thinking uh, maybe I've got this, and then not nah, coming in too fast. Bounce, flip, come on, I can survive it. No, nah, maybe not. And sort of, no. But look, the same parts that survived before survived again. So with that, and noticing the interesting bottom of the Kerbal program, it seems a bit of a glitch there, and say, I'm Denodon, and this has been my pod racer, Safe Landings.